Okay, what we've got here is a, um, a Dyson DC54 vacuum cleaner. Um, they say that they don't have an air filter or a filter system in them. They actually do have a filter inside them. They're a bit of a mongrel to actually replace this filter, so I thought I might video how to do it because no one knew how to pull it apart, even the vacuum cleaner shops. I'm a motor mechanic. Um, I pulled it apart so far and I couldn't get quite close enough, but I ended up working it out how to do it. So I've replaced this filter. Um, it's an easy accessible part from Dyson. So I'm going to show you how to rip this thing apart quickly. So this is the whole machine. I've done a few little dents to it myself trying to get it apart. Um, you only need a few Torx bit screwdrivers and a flathead screwdriver to pull it apart. So I'm going to basically show you, it's quite, quite simple in pulling all these Torx bits out. So you've got your base plate here, this base will come off, these two wheels will come off, and then I'll show you the internal parts. Alright, so I'll just stop and keep coming back to it. Alright, you stop that. Oh, I didn't make one. Okay, so we've got the wheels off, four screws the wheels for the, for the guide wheels. There's two on the side for the, the other sliding wheels, whatever you want, want to call them. So this is, you've got your drum here. Now there's two, four, six, eight, eight screws that hold this, this base together. So I'll rip them out and then I'll show you the rest on the top. Okay, so I've got there's 10 screws, there's two in the top here as well, there's eight around the bottom from looking at it one way, two on the up, the top. Basically the unit pulls apart, that's the base, the bottom of it, there's a couple of little rubber uh, bushes that sit in there for this little electric motor. So that's the motor, right? The motor, it's got an electrical harness in it, which you have to take apart. Basically you tip it up, the motor falls out. There's a couple of little support pushes in here. So it's got a couple of little prongs that the little rubbers sit in. Can't get it wrong. Right? So that's your motor. Now, the motor comes apart and dust and crap builds up in there. I, I've pulled this one apart. If you've gotten this far, you can certainly pull this motor apart. So it's not hard, right? Just a wiring harness. Runs around. Go, goes inside. You pull, pull the motor out, you don't clip that lid, if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Oh, no. I see, un un unflip the lid, there's your motor in there, right? A couple little, three little supports in there, hold the motor rigid. I pulled all this out, I blew it all to pieces, got all the crap and dust out of it. I just sucked up a little bit too much dust in it, it was making a strange noise, so fix it back up. That clips back together. Right, the real hard part, whilst I'm doing this video, is to actually how the bloody hell do you get this air filter out? It doesn't just pull out, right? It twists in the bottom, there's a, there's a twist. So this thing twists back down and locks into place. So I couldn't work out how to get it out. It didn't want to force it, didn't want to break it. So what the trick is, there's a couple of screws. There's one there, in the top here, but there's two in here. You can't see the two in here, because this head is, is held down. So what I do, is that I just, you just use a screwdriver just to pry those latches back. One, and two, right, it's up, right, this little spring holds it locates onto there. These <laughs> are the two little mongrels here. These two little bastards. So you gotta get those. So what I'll do is I'll undo those now. And there's a there's another trap to this. So you get this up, that one there, up. If you've gotten this far you are quite mechanically minded I suppose or a tinkerer I suppose of some sort to get this far. I pull those out. They're up and out. Alright, keep those to the side. So, this whole thing will come apart now. But, what you have to watch, see, it will come down so far, it won't come down all the way. These 
rovers, you have to go in, push it like that. It will come down. Out. Right? There's one. There's the other one. Right? The whole head comes off. Let's watch the back piece here. There's a back piece here that will just sit in here. Alright. It's also got a couple of little springs inside here which I'll show you. Voila! Okay, it's off. All right. What you got to watch when it reassembling it is that these little springs go onto their little locators. They have a tendency to pop off, so you just relocate it so it so it sits in properly. All right. So that is basically the top section off. That's the hardest part. If you've gotten this far, you'll be able to you'll be able to do it easily. I. I disconnected this wiring harness, I pulled these wires off, I just pushed them through, down through the little little hole there, it, it all comes out. So once you get those, I pulled this case apart, in, in this little case is just a little spade connection, it comes apart in here, it's it's quite easy to, to get in there. So there's a little spade, you see that in there? Little spade connection in there, just comes apart, you tuck it all back together, you just keep everything the, the way that it came apart once you got it that far you, I loosen this wiring off twist this whole plate and the whole plate you, there's a couple little clips here that you've got to watch you've got to feed just feed it past there and the whole base will, will turn out it'll basically unclip and the new one clips in the hardest part was getting that lid off so there is a serviceable part it's 35 bucks from Dyson Took me an hour or so to work out how to pull the thing apart first, but uh, now that I've got it apart, it's a few minutes. All right, so that's the, D the Dyson DC54. I'm Phil from P2 Precision Automotive, motor mechanic, not vacuum cleaner mechanic. <laughs> okay, that's it.